Corpse. Wait. Don't do it. No, I can't smell anything. <laughs> the corpse flower at NC State is blooming. This is a live look right now from the Mary Ann Fox Science Laboratory. It is the third time this stinky flower has opened up. CBS 17's Imani Payne got a chance to see it and to smell it today. I'm wearing this face mask, and even that can't stop the smell from this corpse flower from seeping through. It actually caused my eyes to water. It is that bad. So all the viewing slots are completely booked up with crowds wanting to get a whiff of their own. First you see it. It looks like something out of Jurassic Park or, uh, you know, it looks prehistoric to me. Then you smell it. It basically smells like a dead animal. <laughs> this large plant on display at NC State. And then she leaned in and went, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's where it is. Drawing crowds eager to get a whiff of the unique corpse flower. Well, I first saw the, it when it bloomed the first time five years ago in 2016, and then I was lucky enough to come back in 2019 as well. I'm actually coming back later again. I'm coming back later again with a different group of friends. <laughs> so it's been fun to see it not grow up, but it's been fun to see it re reproduce on a regular basis. Native to Indonesia, the corpse flower is known for producing a smelly odor as it blooms. This one at NC State taking 13 years to bloom for the first time back in 2016. Still, despite the stench, many people call this viewing a pleasant experience. It's beautiful, though. I mean, I, I came to see it, um, not really to smell it, yeah. but it is beautiful. And how many chances do you get to see something like this? So it's pretty neat. And the flower is only in bloom for about two days at a time and only blooms every three to seven years. So a rare experience indeed. Reporting in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. I want to know how they know it's getting ready to bloom.